Hey, I'm B Cruz, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm starting out on a shrunken afro. I had my hair in braids, and I took the braids out as usual. So I'm just spraying my hair with water, and then we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna part a section at the front of my head. In that first section, like at the top of my ear, as you guys can see. So I'm just trying to get my part as straight as possible because your parts are definitely going to show with this hairstyle. So you wanna try to get them as straight and I'm starting off with my wide tooth rat tail comb. I'm going in with my smaller rat tail comb but I'm only using it for parting purposes. I'm not like combing through my hair. So we're gonna start on the next section. So we're basically just gonna make three sections as you guys can see. So I'm trying to get the part as straight as possible. So what I had to do was prop up my full body mirror <laughs> on my wall so that I could look in the bathroom mirror and part my hair. As you guys can see, that's what I'm showing you. Excuse my arm, but I just wanted to show you guys how I part my hair when I have to part it by myself and I don't have any help. So this is what I do and it works. So just prop up a full body mirror and look in your bathroom mirror and as you guys can see my parts are pretty straight so I'm just gonna go in with some OMG oil just to you know protect my hair and I'm gonna be using the eco styler olive oil gel today so I'm just gonna be using just a little bit not too too much and I'm gonna brush up that front section and we are going to put our real hair into a bun I'm just making sure I get my hair as smooth as possible and I decided to brush down my baby hair so that I could lay them down later like once my hair dries and everything. So I'm just going to start on that middle section and we're literally going to repeat the same steps. I added the oil and then I'm going in with the gel and I'm going to brush my hair and I'm going to put the ponytail just in the middle pretty much as you guys can see. And I am like tucking my hair under so I'm creating a bun with my hair. On the third section I'm going to do the same thing just make sure when you guys are doing your buns just make sure that they are not super tight because I did sleep in this style and this style will last you up to a week if you wrap it up at night so you don't want to do them too too tight but of course you know tight enough to where they're going to stay gonna add a little bit more gel and then I'm gonna spray my hair with some got to be glue free spray just a little bit because my hair is on a finer side so it likes to get frizzy quickly and then I'm just gonna put my scarf on and I did sleep like this overnight you don't have to but I did and I will be using this rock my afro hip young and fun and trendy hair it is loose hair I got it in the color one and it is in 12 inches as you guys can see and it mimics natural hair so I'm literally just gonna split it into three parts lay a band across the first part part that I split apart and pull it through as you guys can see me doing here so you should be able to make three ponytails basically so as you guys can see I'm pulling the other two apart and I'm just going to wrap my band around the base and pull the other side through the loop I only use one pack of the hair so it created three little ponytails so yes y'all so I'm gonna go back in and do my edges so I did lay them down with some eagle salad gel first and then I put some even edge control on top so that is definitely a tip if you have a hard time laying down your baby hair start off with gel and then put the edge control on top so basically what I'm gonna do is attach the ponytail holder to my bun keeping the hair at the front as you guys can see here and I'm just wrapping it around a few times and then what I'm gonna do is I pull a little bit of the hair from the front to the back over my bun and the cool thing about this hair is it matches so well with your natural hair so if it does show you won't see it I mean it won't be noticeable but if you do it this way you will not be able to see your hair and then I'm just gonna fluff it out a bit literally going to repeat the same steps on the other two ponytails now if your hair is longer than mine of course by any means don't add any hair so as you guys can see I'm pulling some of the hair over my bun literally going to take some open bobby pins and just pin it into place so that the hair lays over my bun as you guys can see here so just the hair at the back and then I'm just gonna fluff it out with my hands and do the same thing on the last section so it's really really easy you guys and I just really like this hair because look how natural it looks like what no one is not even gonna be able to notice that this is not your hair like it's crazy I love this 
so I'm just gonna take some oil sheen and I'm going to spray my hair because you know gel can make your hair look dull here is an up close look at this style it's really really cute really easy to do you got a bomb ponytail mohawk and you can do this hairstyle in less than an hour which is bomb if you choose to do it on the same day but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial i hope it was helpful thanks for watching and i will see you all on my next one bye